Your own thing is possible right now. Lift your two hands. Your restoration is possible. We are here on this covenant of restoration. Joel chapter 2 verse 25 say, I will restore. Lift your two hands. Lord, do your will. I will restore. Lord, do your will in my life. Lift your voice. I will restore. Restoration is the will of God. I will. I will. Lift your voice. Lift your voice right now. Lord, perform your will in my life. Are you talking to God or you are looking around? I will restore. Not what, not things, but yes. Every losses you have suffered. Every delay. Every denier. Every diversion. Whatever I do to you that have been wasted. Lift your voice. Lord, restore. Restore. Bring me to my current level. Bring me to the level where I ought to be. Lift your voice. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Now to enforce restoration, he said, I will pour out my spirit. 28. I will pour my spirit. That's the will of God. That is the will of God. The will of God is to restore. And how does he restore? By pouring his spirit. Lift your voice and speak in other tongues right now. Let that pick a tongue, skill like that. You might not know what to restore, but the spirit know it. Lift your voice in the spirit. Lift your voice in the spirit. Sheko pala, lekoto lebanianda, alake to kopala, anakoto koto labaya. You might not know exactly what to pray for, but the spirit make an intercession for us according to the will of God. Lift your voice in the spirit. Your promotion, your profiting, your enlargement, your next level. Romans 8, 26 and 27. We know not what ought we ought to pray. But the Spirit itself make an intercession for us. Lift your voice, join the Spirit. Join the Spirit. Join the Spirit. Join the Spirit. Don't matter what. Join the Spirit. So much to be restored. You might not know it, but the Holy Ghost knows. So much to restore. Pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. Whatever been denied you, whatever been delayed from you, whatever been diverted from you, year is wasted. Finance is wasted. Resource is wasted. Goodness is lost. Opportunity is lost. Lift our voice and speak, speak in other tongues. Lava nana o shaga balere o shkere yana nana ma le yano shka dande yana nana ma nana osh la parade skodo parada ale tos kapanana ala dosh kapa le gada ande gada ba ya aga bala gata kobo you are praying the will of God. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men but unto God. Lift your voice. This is the confidence. Anything we ask according to His will. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. You have three minutes to do that. Pray in the spirit. First John 5 14. This is the confidence. You ask anything and call it his will. Restoration is his will. Restoration is the will of God. This is the confidence. If he asks anything according to his will, his will is restoration. Pray now. Brothers, pray. Something must have been withdrawn from you, taken from you. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Don't look around. Pray in agreement. Pray in consonant with the Holy Ghost. This is that confidence. Pray confidently. Pray believing. Na 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 So what then? I will pray in the spirit. And I'll pray with my understanding also. First Corinthians 14, 15. I will sing in the spirit. I will sing with my understanding. Pray in the spirit. Charge up the atmosphere. I will pray with the spirit. I will pray with my understanding also. Take the devil by surprise. Take him up. Take him up. Take him up. Na 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 Holy Ghost, you are the spirit of restoration. You are the spirit of restoration. Come upon my life. Restore wasted years. Restore wasted labor. Restore wasted effort. Restore lost opportunities. Restore lost privileges. Are you sure you are talking to heaven? Two more minutes remaining. Push it. Push it. 
push it. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue, speaketh not unto men but unto God. How be it in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. Your restoration will come mysteriously. First Corinthians 14 4. How be it in the spirit he speaketh mystery. Let's do how be it in the spirit he speaketh mystery. Speak those mystery. They are stolen it from you mysteriously. Recover it by mystery. They are using something. You do use something. Use tongues now. Use tongues now. They are using talisman. They are using concussion. Use tongues. Override them now. Override them now. What you are going through, you don't understand. Pray in the language you don't understand. You can't explain what you are going through right now. How things are going up and down. Now pray the spirit. 60 more seconds. You can't explain why things are going the way they are going. Now pray in the language you can't explain. Pray in the spirit, brothers and sisters. Shalandeus kole baladash. Agabala katokopala gandada. Alagash. Remember, life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. First Corinthians 2, verse 14 and 15. Life is spiritual. Take it spiritual. Take advantage of the spirit. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of God. For they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them. Because they are spiritually sane. But he that is spiritual. Now become spiritual. Judgeth all things. Himself in charge of no man. He that is spiritual. Take your spiritual roots now. Judge the matters you are going through. Take your spiritual root now. Take advantage of spirituality. Take advantage of the spirit. Take advantage of the spirit. It's our covenant of restoration. Take advantage. I will restore. Restore my sanity. Restore my simplicity. Restore my identity. Restore my spirituality. Restore my sensitivity. Psalm 23, but he said, He restored my soul. Ah, yeah. He restored my soul. He restored my soul. He restored my soul. Lord, restore my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, restore. Lord, I'm here ready for restoration. Restore, 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 restore. Restore our God. I'm here in your presence. Oh, Balande, Zagala, Balea, Catalia, Bara, Alada, Dana, Daga, Doko, Tolagada, Yakatala, Elacanamo, Scalada, Acalobono, Scalada, Acacologo, Tocola, Lagada, be more intentional. Pray intentionally in the spirit. Pray intentionally in the spirit. You don't know what you are saying, but you are saying something that the spirit knows. He searched the deep things of God. First Corinthians 2, verse 9 and 10. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has he entered the heart of any man. The thing God has reserved for them who love him. But he has revealed them by his spirit. The spirit searched all things. He's searching your case file. You are praying the spirit is searching your government record. He's searching your case record. Is searching your reports. The spirit is searching now. Kakakalakotosh. Become more intentional. Become more intentional. Become more intentional. The spirit is searching your life history. He's searching to know where you have been denied something. He's searching to know where you have been, where something has been forcefully taken from you. Now give him thanks in the spirit. He that giveth thanks in the spirit.
give her thanks where? Thank him. Shagalamosh, Talanea de Galadesh, Liganamosh Kala. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you have said in the spirit, so will it be fixed in your life. As heaven has had your case file have been searched in the spirit. Whatever has been denied you, delayed you, diverted from you, that is due to you, they are restored this week. This week shall be a week of classical restoration. Some of you will wake up in the morning and you are in a brand new world. Because what was stolen from you in the days of your forefather will be restored in full. Every contest will end because heaven has stepped into the battle in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands, all you people, and get seated. Praise the Lord, I'm more than a conqueror. Congratulations. Understanding the blessedness of a revival, part 2A. Understanding the blessedness of a revival, part 2 2a please listen carefully number one revival is the move of god among men god's residence in the midst of people in acts chapter 14 verse 11 acts chapter 14 verse 11 and when the people saw what paul had done they lifted up their voices in the speech of the lyconian saying the gods are come down to us in the likeness of men. That is, we are in human society, but gods are also living among us in our community. The gods. These men are humans, but their dealings and their doings are clearly the dealings of gods. The gods have come down by virtue of their attitude and their act, their activities, the things coming from them. I want to believe that before this day is over, that shall be an exclamation for your business partners. God moves by his spirit among men. God moves by his spirit among men. How does God move? How does God move? You can never see God in form, in physical form, never. No man has ever seen the physical form of God, but we can see him by the spirit. Job 33 verse 4. Job 33. God moves by his spirit among men. The spirit of God had made me. The breath of the almighty had given me life. The spirit of God has made me. The breath has given me life. So if you want to see the move of God, check the move of the spirit. Just like nobody can see wind. You can't see wind. You can only see the effect of a wind. Nobody has seen wind before. See, see wind. Why do you know there's wind? Leaves are shaking. Cloth is flying. See, see wind. Did you see wind actually? No. But you saw the effect. The same way nobody can actually see God. But when you see some things moving, you say God is moving. I see God moving in your affairs. Number three, the agency of the spirit helps us to understand the revival. The agency of the spirit helps us to understand the a reviver. The agency of the spirit. The wind bloweth where it listed. John 3, 8. You hear the sound there? You can't tell where it's coming from. Where I go? So is everyone that is born of the spirit. Job 32, verse 8. There is a spirit in man. The agency of the spirit helps us to understand a reviver. There is a spirit in man. The inspiration of the Almighty is what gives them understanding. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Number four, the resultant effect of the outpouring of the Spirit is blessings. The resultant effect of the outpouring of the Spirit is the blessing. The blessing. The blessing. Just like I just said, you can't see wind. Now you can't see Spirit. But there's something, there's a deposit that when it's sunk, when it is seen, you say spirit was here, or spirit is here. Isaiah 44, verse 3. Isaiah 44, verse 3. He said, for I will pour water upon
upon him that is thirsty. One. And flood upon the dry ground. Two. What is it meaning? What is he saying? I will pour out my spirit upon your offspring. What's the next implication? And my blessing upon your offspring. So anytime the spirit is poured, the deposit we see to symbolize the spirit is the blessing. My prayer is that this revival will leave a blessing for you. That amen doesn't look like you are the one. So we can actually say number five, that the summary of a revived life is to end up in blessings. The summary of a revived life is to end up in the blessing. That's what we're looking at. Understand the blessedness. The summary of this revival is that it must end up in blessings. The summary of a revived life is to end up in blessing. Genesis 24 verse 1. Abraham was old and well sticking in age and the Lord had blessed Abraham. How many things? The summary of the life of Abraham is blessing. And that's why Abraham became the symbol of blessing. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 and 14. Abraham became a symbol. The summary of his life was blessing and he became a symbol of blessing. God, Christ and redeemer from the cause of the Lord being made a cause for us for it is written cost is everyone that hangeth on the tree. Why? That the blessing of Abraham. Abraham became the owner of blessing, the distributor of blessing, the, the, the discharger of blessings. Hello? That the blessing of Abraham. So God is not the owner of blessing. Abraham is the owner. God has his own blessing. Abraham has his own blessing because he authorized him. Abraham became the official authorized agent of blessing on the earth. Genesis 22 verses 18. In thee shall all family. So no, no other blessing. <laughs> and in thy seed shall all nation plus or minus all plus or minus. So who owns the blessing? <laughs> Abraham became the custodian, the headquarter, the reservoir. Blessing. Why? Because he lived a revived life. My prayer that someone's life will be revived fully. That amen is not looking like your own. That amen looks as if you are not a symbol of blessing. That's why you see all of our patriarchs, you will always see an element of blessing in their lives. You will always see Genesis chapter 12, chapter 26, verses 12 to verse 14. You will always see an element of blessing in their lives. Genesis 26, verses 12. Then Isaac sold in that land and received in the same year a hundredfold. What do you see next? And the Lord. That became the standard of everyone who must go forward in life. And the man was strong by the blessing. And went forward and grew until he became very great. Verse 14 together. For he had possessions of flocks and possession of herds and great stuff servant. And the Philistines envied him. Why? His foundation was blessing. I want to declare to someone here. That before this service is over, your life will be filled with blessings. That amen can be stronger and better. So, the revival of Abraham was a journey of blessing. Come on, say, a journey of blessing. The revival of Abraham was a journey of blessing. Look at how it began. Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 to 3. Look at how Abraham's life actually began. Now, the Lord has said to Abraham, Get thee out of your country and from your kindred and from your father's house unto a land that I will show you, and I will make of thee a great nation. One to read, and I will bless you there and make thy name great. And and so when you when you hear Abraham, what's the next identity? What is the identity of Abraham? Now number three, and I will bless them that bless you. What? I will curse them that curse you. And in thee shall all the family. So who is the rest, owner of blessing on the earth? Praise God. And that's the value of going through a revival. I know that someone will key into the virtues of this revival. And that's why we sing. There's a song we sing. I don't know how many of us say, revive us again. I will sing the song. We say, we praise thee, O God. For the son of thy love, for the Jesus who died on the uh, 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 uh. Hallelujah, then the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, then the glory. Revive us again. We praise thee, O God. For the
the spirit of life who has shown us our Savior and scattered our high. Hallelujah, than the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, than the glory. Revive us again. Hallelujah. Revive us again. That must be the quest of your heart. Lord, I don't just want to go to a revival. I want to be revived. I want to end up a symbol of blessings. That anything Abraham does, look at Abraham made a mistake. God approved it. Genesis chapter 17 verse 20. Abraham made a mistake by vocal cord. God said, and as for Ishmael, I have heard your voice. Behold, I have blessed him. And I will make him fruitful. I will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall be begat, and I will make him a great nation. The, the, the thing we are suffering today was a mistake from Abraham's mouth. Say, Abraham, play God, please. Why? I, Sarah is old now. What are you doing with me? Just bless Ishmael. Say, okay, no problem. Approved. I will still give you Isaac, and I will still bless Ishmael. What a life. What a life. What a life that anything you confess, God commands, God approves. What a life. Someone's life will be so revived that whatever you say, God will approve. That amen is not strong enough. Isaiah 51 verse 1 to 3. That's a life. That's a life. A revived life. Hacking to me, you that follow after the right things, you that are looking for God, look unto the rock whence you were healed and to the hill of the pit when you were digged. What am I talking about? He said, look unto Abraham, your father. Don't be proud. And to say that your that body, for I called him alone. What did I do to him? And did what? He said, I will yet comfort Zion like this. Abraham is a standard for every operation in the kingdom. That's why you mustn't play with this revival. You mustn't play with it. The end point is blessing. And I know you are getting the blessing. Genesis 28 verse 4. That something became what we call, what we call the blessing of Abraham. And I and give thee the blessing of Abraham. And to thee and to thy seed unto thee. And I, that you may inherit the land wherein thou art a stranger. Now let me tell you what the blessing of Abraham actually means. Blessing of Abraham actually connotes to inherit properties that are not your own. <laughs> it sounds funny. I will give you the land of the Canaan. Now you get them. No. Perizzite. Jebusite is your own. Anywhere you step upon is your own. How? So Abraham possesses things by blessing. He doesn't buy things. He possesses things by what? Blessing. He's, look at it now. Look at it. And I will give you the blessing of Abraham. And give thee the blessing of Abraham to thee. And to thy seed with thee. One to read. That thou mayest inherit the land. <laughs> which God gave unto Abraham. Is, you are a stranger there, you inherit it. From now, inherit what strangers own. It's a very funny life. Inherit what is not your own. That's a blessing. Very dangerous blessing. Because of revival. I see someone's revival coming now. In the name of Jesus Christ. So if there's any fight you must fight, don't fight your neighbor. If there's any battle you must battle, don't battle your pastor. Eh? If there's any fight, you don't fight your member of the church. Fight for blessing. In your closet. You know when you are alone, that's when you know yourself. All this, uh, this person match my leg. When you are your own and you match your own leg, do you complain? You bite your tongue when you are chewing gum, do you complain? Uh -huh. So when you are alone, that's when you know whether you are fighting something or not. Jacob was left alone. One prayer point. I won't let you go until you bless me. <laughs> I'm not here for, to fight my wife. Fighting my wife will, have, will give me nothing. I won't win any award for it. It will only give me a very bad name. Talking too much in my neighborhood will not only give me a bad name. Jacob, Genesis 32 verse 24 to 26. Jacob was left alone. And the only prayer point in his mouth that Jacob was left alone. And he wrestled with him to the breaking of the day. And he said, and he saw that he 
prevail not against him. He touched the whole of Jacob's thigh, and the jail hold was out of joint, and he wrestled with him. Verse 26, and he said, Let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let you go except you bless me. What's your name? Your name is Jacob. Oh no, there's an error there. We can't bless a name. We can't bless the name 26, 28. And he said, Thy name shall no longer be called Jacob for Israel. For as a priest that had power with God and with men and has prevailed. 29 together, one, two, go. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee thy name. And he said, Where are, have you asked me for my name? And he blessed him there. I bless you here. I bless you here. Hey, I bless you here. I, he blessed him there. The consequence of the revival. Don't fight anybody. Fight for blessing. Tell your neighbor, fight for blessing. Fight to be blessed. Wrestle to be blessed. Don't wrestle to be known. You don't know me. See me now. <laughs> Who are you? If, they, if that question is posed to so many people, they, they don't, there's no answer. You don't know who I am. Can you pay for my UK visa? Or 10 members of my family? You will not discover that you are nobody. Even if you attempt it. <laughs> In Jesus' name. You don't know who we are. Who are you? If you are not the blessed, you are nobody yet. Hello? If you are not the blessed, you are nobody yet. That was the major symbol of Abraham's life. And every member of his house knows it. Everybody in his house. How many people in his house? Look at Genesis 24. I think it's Genesis 24 verse 35. Look at it clearly. Look at it clearly. Genesis 24 verse 25. And the Lord had blessed my master greatly. And he's become great. And he has given him flocks and heads and silver and gold and men. That is a servant talking about his master. This is the credentials of his master. Starting with the major item. The Lord had blessed my master greatly. May people around you know this about you. If they say you're a wedding man, wealth can finish, but blessing cannot be exhausted. It is the blessing of the Lord that processes more riches. So don't ever be to struggle to be a wealthy man or a prosperous person. Struggle to be a blessed person. I am a blessed child. I am a blessed child. Jesus makes me a blessed child. I am a blessed. Are you a blessed child? I am a blessed. I'm a blessed child. I am a blessed child. Jesus, Jesus makes me a blessed child. Hallelujah. In summary, kingdom life is made easy and possible by the blessings. Kingdom life is made easy. You will struggle in this kingdom if you are not blessed. Kingdom life is made easy and possible by blessedness. Blessedness. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1 to 13. If you will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord your God, the Lord your God will bless your bread and your water. You know all of those things he said. And all this blessing, verse 2, shall come upon you and overtake you. Verse 3, blessed are you in the field. Blessed are you in the city. Verse 4, blessed shall be the fruit of your body. Verse 5, blessed shall be the fruit of your basket. Verse 6, blessed, uh -uh, blessed, 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 blessed. Easy life. Easy life. Easy life. Easy life by the blessing. Someone is entering the blessing. Amen. And what a joy the communion is a communion of a blessing. Come on, shout amen. amen. I say shout a loud amen. amen. What are we going to be drinking this morning? What are you going to be drinking this morning? If you are sure, shout loud it loud and clear. Come on, say, I shall be drinking the blessing. 
Say again, I shall be drinking the blessing. So that gives you direct impartation to line up with what is required. First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 16 says the cup of blessing. The cup. So you are not taking black currant or juice. And the cup, First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 16, it said the cup of blessing which we bless. Is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? And the bread which we break. The communion. So be ready this morning because you are going to be drinking into the blessing. And that will be expressed for you in the name of Jesus Christ. What is a revival? A revival is the move of the Spirit of God that rescues people from age long bondages. A revival is the move of the Spirit of God that rescues God's people from age long bondages culminating in their supernatural change of story. Revival is a move of God's spirit that rescues God's people from age-long bondages, culminating in their supernatural change of story. The Lord your God, Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 17 to 20, in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will joy by you with joy. He will join his love. And then he will gather them that are sorrowful and begin to change their story. And begin to get them fame and name in the place where they have been rejected. Zephaniah chapter 3, 17 to 20. He will begin to gather them and give them name and fame in the place where they have been stagnated. And then he will undo all that afflict them. And then he all that afflict them and gather her that was halted. And I will gather them and give them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Verse 20 together. At that time, this is your time. That I will bring you again, even the time that I will gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth. When I turn back your captive before your eyes, said the Lord. Your eyes shall see your captivity torn. Whatever I tied you down in, in poverty, it will leave you alone today. Anything I tell you that in one circle, you are living that circle. Yeah. I say you are living that circle. Yeah. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2 to 6. Revive your work. Revive your work. Oh Lord, I have had that speech and I was afraid. Oh Lord, revive your work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known. In wrath, remember mercy. Verse 3. He said, God came from Tema, the Holy One from Mount Peram. He's glory covered the heaven and the earth was full of his praise. Verse 4. And his brightness was as the light and he had horns coming out of his hand and there was the hiding of his power and then power became and before him went the pestilence and burning coal went forth at his feet. Verse 6. He stood and measured the earth. He beheld and drove asunder the nation. The everlasting mountain was scattered. Perpetually he did bow. His ways are everlasting. As these things were happening, anything that was not correct 17 he said although the fig tree shall not blossom neither shall they be meat in the vine he said even though the, leaf, the, pre, the labor of the holy shall fail there shall be no meat in the vine and the labor of the holy shall be cut off he said yet will I rejoice I have been revived I will rejoice in the Lord my God and then he turns everything the Lord will make my feet like high feet and I will stand upon my high places I don't know what you have suffered in the past today it shall be corrected that bondage, that limitation shall be broken today. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, anyone is changeable when Jesus is available. Anyone is changeable when Jesus is available. Anyone. Madness was on this man for years. Mark chapter 5. You read the story from verse 5. He's a madman of Gadara. He and always night and day he was in the mountain and in the tombs crying, cutting himself with stones. Continue now. And when he saw Jesus afar off, anyone is changeable if Jesus is available. He ran and worshipped him. And then seven, and they cried with a loud voice, and what have I to do with thee, Jesus? Thou son of the most high God, I join thee by God, thou torment me not. Verse 8, he said unto him, Come out of him, that unclean spirit. Verse 9, and he asked him, What is your name? He said, Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he should not send him out of the territory. 
but is that you should cast him to the swines the great swine feeding and he gave him leave and he checked out of that body 12 13 14 and all the devils how many devils how many devils besought him and saying send us into the swine that we may enter into them verse 13 and fought with jesus gave them leave i stand there representing jesus every devil tormenting your life every devil limiting your destiny i give them leave out of you now go back to that text now and he gave them leave and they checked out of that place and they, 13 14 and they gave them leave and the unclean spirit came out went out and entered into the swine and the head ran violently down the steep place into the place into the sea and there were about two thousand and were choked devil from one person choked two thousand pigs how dangerous is that devil one man container of devil choked 12 pigs 20 20 what how many pigs 2000 we are not up to 2000 in this service so devil from one person choked 2000 pigs you know pig very strong animal how great is that devil verse 14 14 and they that fed the swine fled and told it in the city and in the country and they went out to see what that that was done verse 15 loud and clear read it with understanding and they came to jesus and see him that was possessed with one devil that can choke two thousand pigs sitting clothed and in his right mind they were afraid anyone is changeable when jesus is available anyone anyone so don't let anybody write you off and your forefather were poor your great 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 father was poor so you can die in poverty never forever don't accept that he that had devils two thousand devils was now seated remember earlier he was cutting himself he couldn't coordinate himself because devils were too much inside of him i don't know how long you have suffered this deprivation today is over some of you will take off in the air this week. Yeah. Your forefather have never seen a aeroplane, even flying over the air, but you'll be the first to enter. Yeah. Those days in the way, we say aeroplane, bye bye. Ah, aeroplane, bye bye. Yo. Ah, aeroplane. That's the best we have. That you can to, to enter aeroplane, God forbid. Ah, you just say aeroplane, bye bye. Ah, aeroplane. You know when the aeroplane is flying, all of us will gather. Yeah, it's yeah. Aeroplane, aeroplane, aeroplane. How many of us were like that? <laughs> I thought I was the only one that grew in the village. But now they call you, they collect your boarding pass. You are passing and you are entering aeroplane. Ah, your story is changing drastically. Hey. So many of us will break record in this church. You will be the first to attain that position in your office. You will be the first to reach that stage in your family. You are going to break some limits that are known and unknown. They say nobody has ever married and stayed in a home. You will be the first to stay in a home. You will do five years anniversary. You will do 15 years anniversary. You will even do 50 years anniversary. Some of you will break lineage of sickness and disease. Whatever has tortured your lineage, be the first to break it. And when you break it, others will pass. There is no politician in your house, be the first to rise. There is no technocrat in your house, be the first to rise. There is no professional in your house, be the first to rise. There is no global phenomenon in your house, be the first to rise. If you are the one, your amen will be louder. first the first so with jesus on your side there is no height that is unattainable there is no record that's unbreakable ah. there is no record that's unsettable you can set any record you can be the first director general at 35 you can it's possible it's possible jesus was 30 when he carried the whole world the whole world so how can you be 30 you say you are small you are young who told you that you are too old over age is worrying you. 
party say I'm, I'm still a small girl. Small what? Over age is worrying you. Jesus was 33. He, he was taking the global responsibility. Global. Global. And they say you cannot become a director at 40. For what? Who, who say who said who says so? Who talk him? Get set to oh. record breakers are looking at me now. I say barrier breakers are just watching me now. Limit crossers are here now. Brothers and sisters, no one involved in a revival remains the same. No one involved in a revival remains what? No one. You can't even be involved and remain the same. The only way you can remain the same is if you are not involved. That's the problem. So you can just be sharing the story, singing the song, and then you are the same. No one involved in a revival remains the same. Even Job. Job in his Job nature, in his captivity, was mindful enough. His mind was more revived than his physical body. Job 42, verse 10 to 12. He prayed for his friends. Please don't let externals disqualify you of the eternal. Don't let external disqualify you of the eternal. Some of these small, small, small things happening around you is just distraction. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job. He was in captivity when he prayed for his friends. So don't mind your captivity. It's a, it's a distraction. It's a distraction. Face God. It will face out. Face God. It will face out. Face God. They looked up to him. They were lightened. And their faces were not ashamed. Shame was there. But they faced God. The shameless one. Wiped away the shame. Psalm 32. Psalm 34. Verses 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This poor man. Ah, this poor man. When I saw the Lord, he had me and delivered me from all my fears. Verse 5. He said they looked up to him. They were lightened. And they were not ashamed. Verse 6. He said this poor man cried unto the Lord <laughs> and he had him and saved him all that you are going through is just a raw material face God tell your neighbor face God face God face him man too much face God face him man too much what are the indicators of a revival hmm. what is it that when I see I know that revival has occurred number one when men's heart begin to seek after God in genuine repentance. When men's heart begin to seek after God in genuine repentance. When men's heart begin to seek after God in genuine repentance. In Jonah chapter 3 verses 5 to 8 in genuine in sincerity in holistic repentance and the word of the Lord 5, just go to 5, 6, 7 and 8. And so the people of Nineveh believed God and proclaimed the fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest even to the least of them. And then for the word came unto the king of Nineveh and he arose from his throne and he laid his robe from him and covered him with sackcloth and sat in ashes. Verse 7, and he caused it to be proclaimed and published throughout Nineveh by the decree of the kings and his nobles saying, let neither man nor beast head nor flock taste anything let them not feed nor drink water oh yeah verse 8 ah, what kind of gruesome exercise is this one but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily to God yea let them turn everyone from his evil way and from the violence that is in their hand and God turned my prayer is that God will turn who can tell if God will turn and repent and take away from us his fierce anger that we perish not? And truly, that's what God did. Someone here will seek the, the will turn the anger of God from his family. And God saw their works that they did turn from their evil ways. And God repented of the evil that He has said He would do unto them, and He did it not. Good news: evil has passed your generation. That impending danger, no more around your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. So when men are begin to go after God, genuinely, not for what you will get, but for God that you will gain. Not for the things he promised, but for himself that you will receive. Psalm 27 verse 8. Psalm 27 verse 8. My soul 
He said, when thou sayest, seek my face, my heart saith, thy face will I seek. Your heart is the one panting after God. You are hungry for him like you are hungry for food. You are running after God. Men and brethren, what must we do? Psalms, Acts chapter 2, 37 to 39. What must we do? They were pricked in their hearts and said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? We are ready to do anything you tell us to do. And Peter said unto them, Repent! To be baptized, every one of you, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Someone here, your repentance will be very genuine. Yeah. And by that, heaven will hack into you. Yeah. In Acts chapter 14, Acts chapter 13, verse 44, 42, sorry, 42, 48, and 49. And the next Sabbath day, and when the Jews were gone out of the synagogue, the Gentiles besought that this word will be preached to them the next Sabbath day. 48 now, 48, 49. And then when they had it, they were glad. And when the Gentiles had this, they were glad and glorify the word of the Lord as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. 49, and the word of the Lord was published throughout all the region. May the word of God have free course in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. What are the benefits of a revival? What do I stand to gain in a revival? Number one, everlasting mountains are cleared off. Everlasting mountains are cleared off age-long impediment are removed. Things that have limited progress is eliminated. Psalm 114 verse 1 to 8. What they led thee, O mountain, that thou fled us. What are you looking for? That you ran back. When they saw them, the sea saw them, he fled. After this communion, any evil see you will flee. Number two, we enjoy divine favor. We enjoy divine favor. Acts chapter 2 verse 46 and 47. We enjoy divine favor. Praising God. Continue daily in the apostles' doctrine, breaking bread from house to heart. That's what we're about to do right now. They eat their bread with singleness and gladness of heart. Praising God and having favor with all the people. Should I tell you something? Your enemies will favor you. God will convert your enemies' reserve for your own resources. That amen can be stronger. Amen. On this covenant of restoration, all that you have ever lost will be restored to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Restoration has two packages. Number one, restoration of losses. Whatever you've lost, I will restore the years. You have lost years, you will restore the losses. I will restore health unto thee. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17, you have lost health, you will restore it. Now number two, it is number two part of restoration is dues. Dues. What you are due, what is due to you. What you are qualified for. What is your allocation? What is your, your worth? Your value? Your take home? Your Whatever is yours that must diverted or delayed or denied, your due. For instance, a woman now is 35 or maybe 40, not yet married. And God wants to restore full scale restoration. And you get married at 40. And then you had this due that you are going to have four children. And then the first pregnancy, married at 40, you deliver four at once. That's restoration. Hello. That's what? Restoration. Full scale. You don't need to go four times. It's just once. And you have covered the years that others who married at 25 had. Because if you are to give birth to each child, it will have about eight years gap. Two, two, two years minimum. So you give the first one two years, give the second one two years. By that time you are 49 or 50. But you just give birth once. Wow. Four. Two boys, two girls. Once. That's what we call what? Restoration. That's it. Whatever is due to you. Okay, you are just employed in civil service. You are already 45. They just give you director. Once. Once. Director. 
you are just employed they don't make you a director once that's what because all that started at 25 30 they have you know step one grade two step two step five step two step three step three yeah step one you just employed na 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 you become a director once 45 come on shout restoration hey god will so restore you this season that you will be shedding tears of joy You'll be feeling unworthy in the office. You'll be feeling unworthy. 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 You say, ah, am I qualified for this? Is anybody ready for that? Are you sure you're ready for that? You just graduated. You have been waiting for a job all your life. You have, been, you have been waiting for a job for 10 years. And the first employment, your salary is a million dollars. What is that? <laughs> That all the people that have been working from <laughs> 10 years ago, you can pay, you can call them and pay them salary from your one month. Are you thinking it's not possible? <laughs> somebody, somebody is looking at me as if I'm a ghost. That is how you'll be surprised about what will happen to you. You see, when the Lord turned again, the cap it was it was a dream. When, it, it is the Lord. If it is the Lord that is turning, it will be a dream. It is the Lord turning. It is the Lord turning. Restoration. Shout it again, restoration. restoration. Let me say this now. We serve a restorer God. Let me say it loud and clear. We serve what? A restorer God. A restorer God. I will restore. I will restore. Today. I don't know what it is that you have lost. Whether you can name them, you cannot name. You are going to you are going to begin the privilege to name them before the Lord, and then the heavens will open over those things in the name of Jesus Christ. All things you have ever lost will be fully restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Restoration of glory, color, honor, dignity, decency, health, wealth, strength, opportunity, fortune all shall be fully restored yeah. five keys to this restoration number one you must be born again you must be born again you must be a child of god romans 3 23 you must be born again the wages of sin is death but the free gift of god is in our life all have sinned and dropped in glory dropped in restoration the glory must be restored Number two, we must receive and believe the word for our restoration. You must receive and believe the word for our restoration. John 14, verse 1. You believe in God. Believe also in me. Let your heart not be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. Believe also in me. Believe and receive the word for your restoration. Number three, remain committed to serving the interest of, the, of God. Remain committed to serving God and the interests of his kingdom. Remain committed to serving God. So winning. Praying kingdom advancement prayer. Job 36, 11. Remain committed to serving God and the interests of his kingdom. With your time, with your treasure, with your talent, with your energy, with your expertise. Remain committed. Hmm. Number four. We must be committed to to praying for the well-being of others. Ah. We must be committed to what? Praying for the well-being of others. This is the cheapest way to be restored. Find people who are going through your similar challenge and put them as your prayer project. You are not yet married. You are delayed. Find persons who are going through the same thing and begin. Make them your prayer requests. Others. Others. Ephesians 6 8. The same. Whatever any man doeth, he shall receive the same. The same. Knowing that whatever good any man doeth, he shall receive the same from the Lord. Whether he be bound or free. And number five, baptism in the Holy Ghost. Baptism in the Holy Ghost. It's your birthright as a believer. And the Spirit is Spirit of glory. It's the one that facilitates restoration. Spirit. I will part my spirit. And then glory begins to flow everywhere. Isaiah 61, verse 1 to 3. Baptism of the Holy Ghost. In this service morning, 
as they ask. We begin to pray. And you desire the Holy Ghost. All you need is to ask. Ask. Ask the Father. He will give it to you. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring good things unto the make. He has sent me to bind all the broken hearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive, the opening of prison to them that are bound. Verse 2 now, to proclaim the acceptability of the Lord, the year of ven- the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint to them that mourn, to give unto them beauty for ashes, oil of joy for mourning, garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. This morning, I see glory restored to someone. If you are the one, jump on your feet and shout a loud amen. Lift up your two hands towards heaven and give thanks to God. Lift your hand towards heaven and give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to your God. Give thanks to God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your own reviver, your own testimony, your own, your own, your own, your own, your own, your own. Your own is about to come. Your own, your own. Anything lost anything yours anything denied anything lost anything yours anything lost anything yours thank him right now because you are getting it in the name of jesus christ of nazareth this is our season of glory revelation chapter 5